I have this large dye pot here inside of which I have some canvas that I've left soaking overnight. The canvas, I yesterday boiled it in this large pot of water, obviously, and this matter root, ground up matter root that I purchased in this large bag of already processed ground up powder from a Canadian company that sells natural dyes. I was trying to go for a more brownish kind of brick uh, red color and usually the dye on its own in water can come out from anywhere to a sort of pinky red to a much deeper red but for brown they recommend adding vinegar as well as iron which is used as a sort of modifier for a lot of dyes and some places sell iron but I went sort of beach combing and find all of these just rusty bolts and bits and pieces. I also wanted to experiment with some dyes, natural dyes that you could find. I did a lot of dyeing with turmeric, which is how I got some really rich, beautiful yellows, and some dyeing with red cabbage, which produces, it starts off as a sort of very deep violet, and then as it dries, it turns to a more delicate lilac, almost blue. And I tried dyeing with a lot of other more commonly known and accessible things like onion skins, some avocado skins and pits, and I did some dyeing with hibiscus tea, things that you could find in a grocery store, for example.